I have this gal that's coming over who originally had long hair. I mean, yeah, long, long hair. And then she decided she wanted to change. So she had me shave the sides down to a number one, <laughs> almost bald, and then leave an A-line really long bang. And before I did it to her, I told her that it's a real cute cut, but it's a bitch to grow out. So, you know, now she's ready to have me <laughs> change that A-line. And I think a pixie is the best way to recover from an awkward haircut that's difficult to grow out. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to show you how it's For this haircut, you're going to need a comb, a pair of scissors, some clippies for sectioning, and a water bottle. And of course, a blow dryer for afterwards. Okay, so this is Olivia with the classic A line to start. She did the, the Miley Cyrus shave it on the side and now she is ready to convert it to a basic pixie. But first, <laughs> we're gonna confirm what haircut you're getting, right? Right. Right, so we're gonna look at some okay, pictures. so we've okay. discussed what we're gonna do. Basically, I'm gonna give her a pixie haircut, but we're gonna still keep this part slightly longer so it flirts with the eyeball. Grab your water bottle. And just start spraying. Don't be afraid. <laughs> it's only water. As you can see, her hair is still kind of long underneath, so our goal is to put it in two sections here. We want to get this part and the top part separate. <laughs> Thanks for being a sport. <laughs> okay. Now you're going to grab Your comb, actually. And just comb through it. Okay, once you finish combing out to the back, grab your, your clippies, keep them close by. Just put them on your little pocket there if you have it. First thing you want to do is take it, look in the mirror, look at the eyeball where the eyebrow is, and section it off. Basically, it's the longest part of the hair because that's where all the weight is. Except for on the other side, it's kind of light. So you're only going to want to pick up the hair that needs to be cut at this point. And at this point, it is just the top part and a little bit of the side here. So section it. Twist it. And clip it. You can see how it's all sectioned off right there, okay? Pick up your scissors. And you're going to now establish the guideline a little bit on the side right here. Because this part is still part of the A line. So you want to get rid of it. So we're going to comb you this way forward. Comb you this way forward. Just pick up the hair. And go ahead and you're going to cut the longest part down to the shortest part. Again, see, it's your guideline. The guideline is your best friend. It will always be your best friend. See, and already that feels a little better, right? It does. <laughs> it does. Yes, it does. Again, you're going to cut the longest part, take it down to the shortest part. And this gives it more of a balanced feel. So it's not so heavy on her. It's longest down to the shortest. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and actually undo this clippy. Go ahead and check one more time. Grab the spray bottle. Get it wet. You, you should always have the hair wet when given that haircut. Okay, now undo your clippy. And go ahead and section off the hair again, like this. Twist it off, bring it forward. See? <laughs> it's kind of cool, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so basically when you got this haircut originally, you liked the fact that it was shaved on the side. You liked the fact that it was... Buzzed up, right? I, I did a lot. It's just the maintenance. The maintenance and is the hard. growing out, yeah. Okay, now what I'm doing, if everybody's paying attention here, 
because I'm picking up the hair that I just sectioned off and let down. And see where you can see the shortest part of the haircut to the long strands? We're going to go ahead and get rid of those long strands, but we're going to do it on an angle. So it's still a little bit longer because we do want to leave it just a tad longer up front still. So just go up on the angle. Like just shooting towards the air, you know? <laughs> Again, bring it up. So you can see from this direction maybe, I hope. I don't know, I'm not holding the camera. It's sitting on something right now. Again, your guideline is your best friend, so you'll take the long strand right there down and see how it matches up now. And then come forward so you don't lose your length and snip it how much you want to have taken off. Now, this is going to be an actual pixel, see, but we're giving it a little bit of play by leaving the volume up on top, as you can see. And I think this will work really good for you because. Yeah. She's got such a tiny little head, and the, the main reason we're doing this haircut, we're converting her from the A-line to the pixie is because it's a lot easier to grow it out. Right? Right. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and grab another section. Again, just go ahead and take about, oh, I guess an inch. Bring it back. And let this part stay forward. And just clip it off one more time. See? Comb it into it. Okay. Once you have sectioned it off again, do the same thing you just did. Take the back of the hair, bring it up towards the front of the hair. You're going to see how much hair is left up there and how short it is there. So just take the comb with your fingers holding it flat and cut up. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know. I think you can see it better when I come from this direction. <laughs> so just comb through it. Hold the hair taut. And again, see how it's on an angle? Because it was an A-line to begin with, so you, you kind of got to do a reverse A-line now. And that blends it into the shorter hair. See? Yep. And then again, pull it forward to check that you're not losing your length and cut off as much as you feel you need to cut off. We are going to leave her slightly longer up on top because we definitely want to see a little play around the eyeball. So what do you think? How's that feeling? Good. A little better? Yeah. Again, come to the side. Go from the longest part down to the shortest part. You can always check your work simply by pulling it up. See, you missed one strand. I <laughs> see it. And there it goes. And now it's kind of wispier. See? And then that way you have options on how you can wear the hair. You can wear it just going backwards. You can wear it going forward. Forwards, yeah. Okay. We're going to take out that last strand. Now I'm going to have her turn this way just for a second. Because I want to establish the guideline where we want it to fall. Now point with your finger. You tell me where do you want the bang to flirt with the eye. At the eyebrow itself. At the itself. eyebrow, yes. Okay. So go ahead. And look below the eyebrow, like in the middle of the nose there. Take it and snip away. Again, just pick up the hair, pull it out, go with your guideline that you just created, and snip. Out, snip. <laughs> How's it feeling there? Is it feeling a little lighter? Much lighter. A little more balanced? Yeah. Okay, now... Everything you just did, you're going to comb it backwards and check your own work. You're going to pull up on both sides like this. Just comb it up like you would be doing like for a mohawk. And you can see right there, I still need to trim it a little bit. So we're going to tilt you that way. See? Can you see? Yeah. Hey, the ice cream man's out there. You hear him? <laughs> yeah. And then you're going to come down uh, again on an inverted A. And just get it. Just go for it. Come forward. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Let's see if you can see that. Alright, and then snip. Just a little bit there. Now, let's see how it's looking. Look at that. <laughs> 
Okay, now you want to check all your work so you have the person look down. And you can see, even. Perfect. <laughs> even, yes. Come around this way. Can you do it? I don't know. <laughs> Make them do the exorcist thing. <laughs> okay, there you go. Sorry about that. And we're going to come up and just make sure it's all nice. Again, snip away. Okay, now, there you go. Let's see, bring it down. Okay, look your head backwards. Now, how is that feeling to you? Run your fingers through your hair. Good. Does that feel good? Mm -hmm. So you think we've, we've cut enough? Let's see. See, I think it looks good. It, you know, that way you still have a little bit of your mm -hmm. length in the front, but without compromising it completely. But now you have, you know, layers up here, and it gives you a little more play in the hair, right? It does. So you want me to try and blow dry it now? <laughs> okay. That's right. I'm making her sit on the seat of honor at <laughs> the throne. <laughs> Squirt one more time and check your work. Always check your work. Because you could miss a hair here and there occasionally, you know? Right? Right. Okay, but at this point it's looking pretty good to you, right? You're liking the way it's yeah, landing I on like, the front there? Yeah, I like the length of the bangs. See, what do you think? Looks good? Like it? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, look in the mirror real quick. I'm just going to bring it up and just check everything. Just to make sure I got it all. See, like there's a couple little strands right there. Mm -hmm. That's why you always got to check your work. Just because it's very easy to miss one or two strands <laughs> once you get to going. But if you cross-check it, you'll see where you missed it. Cross-check means combing the opposite direction of how you cut it. So that's why I always come up this way and then go that way and then back to this way. <laughs> but I think this, this is going to work for you. See, there's one little hair right there. Yeah. See, I want to just make sure that all the, the weight part is out. See, look at that. Yeah. I think this is going to work for you. Yeah. I think we're ready to blow dry now. What do you think? Yes. And then, you know, if we want to go shorter, we can always go shorter afterwards, right? True. Okay, let's right. blow dry it. Let the drying come in. I definitely think this was a much better choice for you, Olivia. <laughs> do, you, do you like it? Are you okay I do. With it? It's lighter. Yes, yeah, much lighter. I think it's going to be a lot easier to grow out. I do. I like the way it just plays with your eyes there. Let's see. Tilt down. There you go. Turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the left. <laughs> there you go. That's what I want to see. Okay. We're good, right? You're happy? Yes. You don't have don't to sleep that. up. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. That's how you convert an A-line haircut into a pixie. It's actually pretty easy, as you saw. But, you know, that A-line haircut, it really, it's a noticeable haircut. It draws attention to your hair. But, unfortunately, it really is quite difficult to grow out. And, generally, when a person gets that A-line extreme <laughs> haircut, bang, whatever, they notice how heavy it is on that side. So eventually just know that if you choose that haircut, you're probably going to choose to convert it into a pixie at some point. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, do feel free to get in touch.